Go. I'm Travis Fincham with Mr. Paul Logan, the AD here at North Central High School. This is for popping with Paul. Um, my first question for you is, um, what's the, the North Central Carmel athletic rivalry? It's all there. How does that impact the, the big tennis match that the boys have today against Carmel? Well, uh, as you know, we the North Side rival right there. We don't talk about the team from the North right there. But uh, over the last five years, it's been a, a flip of a coin. We were very fortunate won three state championships, and they won two state championships. So it's been three and two the last couple of years. Today it's going to be no different. As this past Saturday was a, a great match with the John Shirley. Came down to the last match, a heartbreaking loss for us, but uh, we're right there. We had three guys in the championship. They only had two. So I feel very strong about our team tonight. Uh, as everybody knows, the, the Carmel North Central rivalry and everything, football, basketball, uh, tennis has always been going, but now tennis has been built up the last couple of years because we've ever won won the state. So it's a great matchup. Tonight's going to be a great night. Got a beautiful night. Finally got some great weather to play some tennis. And look forward to our young men to go out there and challenge for another state championship this year. And I think we're right there on the verge of it and everything. So. My next question goes to the, the football team. Do they, do, do they come out with a chip on their shoulder, you know, with playing the number one team on the state? Do they have, like, extra drive to win this game? I just think because of how the Mick has gone for the last 15 years with the Mick's won 14 state championship. So they know they got to play the best schedule. As we look through the, through the national polls, we've got the 14th toughest schedule in the country. I was looking at the teams we play. And as this past weekend, we saw seven teams in the top ten. So I think the weekend they, they go through, hey, we're playing somebody who's good, we're going to have to get ready. So there's no... As you look in the past, there's some teams who won the MIC championship, but then win the state. So it's, it's, it's level of competition all the way through from team number one to team number eight. I mean, I know we've had a couple of years here where we have won things, but if we go outside our conference, I feel like we're right there in the top ten teams of, of 6 8 football because we play teams that will not compete against the teams we play week in, week out. Mm -hmm. Next question is the uh, NC men's soccer team. They, uh, how important is it for them to come out strong playing? Really, their first real, te real test uh, on the road against the defending center group. I think it's an opportunity tonight to find out. We beat them last year here, so it's never going to win the state. So I look look for the challenge to them because we're real close there. Uh, center group is too. Uh, this will be a physical game. Uh, the center group guys, I think they got chip on their shoulders being the defending state champ. And they want to prove that hey, they were still pretty good. But everybody always looks to the north side for soccer, mm -hmm. Carmel, North Central, mm -hmm. uh, uh, teams like that. So they always look at that and say, hey. We won't be there. So it's an opportunity for them to go down there tonight, compete, and uh, get ready for another great Midwest tournament next week in Carmel. So next three weeks is very big for our uh, boys' soccer team as well as our girls' soccer team as they play uh, the great the kicker, kicks for cancer this weekend. So it's a great opportunity for our girls to play here at North Central, playing tomorrow at 530 and Saturday at 11. So as you look on, it's a big, big time this weekend. As I always say, Labor on Labor Day. Uh, this uh, weekend we've got the girls' volleyball team here. With their invite, they they're one of they won four out of the last six. Uh -huh. They got a chance to win three, so I mean they could be seven and two here mm -hmm. next this weekend. So mm -hmm. great opportunity. The golf team's playing. Finished the fourth. I'm sorry, finished fifth. Two strokes out of fourth place in the mid conference this week. Mm -hmm. As they keep going, uh, they're turning Marion County next week. So they continue on the cross country. They go up to Marion yep. to run Marion up there. And now, next, is that at Marion High School or Marion University? Uh, Indiana Wesleyan in Marion. Okay, okay. So it's Indiana Wesleyan. Okay. So they can run on a college course up there. So All right. the boys and girls are heading up there. So as we can see, a full full weekend of athletics here this weekend. Mm -hmm. okay. as, as the model, Labor on Labor Day. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Um, my last question is, uh, how was how your experience playing football at UND? But not only playing football, but also incorporating your studies into your college life. Uh, had to go in high school to go play college football. I wanted to become a teacher and coach, and I knew I had to do that. And I was very fortunate to get a scholarship to the University of Indianapolis. I was looking at things. I mean, at the time, Franklin Butler was also looking at me to play football. And so the University of Indianapolis gave me a great, great scholarship to help me pay for my education. Uh, football made me where I am today because of hard work. I had great coaches, college coaches. Uh, some of the guys I still stay in contact with, they pushed me to become who I am today. I uh, was very fortunate to get some opportunities to be an All-American there. And, had great teammates, had great teammates. I always saw guys in front of me, they always protected guys so I could make tackles. Mm -hmm. and it was also a great opportunity to, some of my closest friends now are the guys in college and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look through some of the coaches, uh, Mark Bless at Avon, his brothers Tim and Scott at Columbus North and Blue North, we were all teammates. Uh, uh, Doug Armstrong who's at Mount Vernon, we were teammates. So we have like 15, even Coach Wimmer at, uh, at Fishers, he's, uh, he coached me in high school and they had a good university in Indianapolis. So it's an opportunity that's great. And, 
it's led me to, to be where I am today as uh, athletics at, at, at the University of Indianapolis. So I love that. It. it was a great opportunity. Wish everybody had a chance to do that yeah. sometime. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Travis. Appreciate it. Yep.